momentum seemed to shift? Were there, was there something that you guys tried to get to, whether defensively or offensively, something to, to try to stem the tide to turn it back? And, and, and was there a reason you didn't see that work tonight? Um, yeah, they kind of went on a run towards the end of the second. Uh, you know, I think we were up 26 and they cut it to 16. We went to the half, only two and a half went for something like that. <clears throat> um, and then that momentum carried it to, to the third quarter. You know, we came out, some tough shots, some, some turnovers. Um, and they made us feel on the other end, you know, which were transitioning. And then, you know, some guys got hot from three. You know, uh, you know, like we say all year, guys going to play their best. Um, Bays, you know, and, and, you know, some other guys who haven't made shots all, all year, you know, from three and eight. You know, I think Davis like four for eight, and you know, some other guys made shots, but um, you know, this is a game that we definitely supposed to win, not supposed to lose at all. Um, but we learn from it, and you know, move forward. Russ, do you have any thoughts on that? Just especially in the kind of the second half, and <clears throat> no, I mean, I do it at we we had the game in our hands, and we lost the game. And simple as that. What were your thoughts on, on the ejection? Um, it is what it is, you know. I don't feel like you got the first take, honestly. The first one wasn't even a take. Uh, the last one was a take, that's cool, but um, just how I play the game and, you know, I'm more old school. Shit like that happened, I don't let it slide. So, you know, I take it on the chin and move on, but, you know, the game of basketball, certain things you just don't do. Like in baseball, you don't look bad. Certain things you just don't do in certain in sports. Um, game already over, um, and I didn't like it. Simple as that. BT. For both of you guys, have been in the league for quite a while. How do you process losing a game like this up by 26? Do you, do you just let it go, move on to the next one, or do you think it over about what you could have done better? I'm um, still early in the season, so you know we don't want to dwell on it too much. Um, there's really not much to be said, to be honest. You know, we got a third ball club. We know we're not supposed to lose that game. Um, you know, it's <clears throat> it's a tough one. You know, for sure. Um, just because this team, you know, was struggling and and you know the the way we had to lead. Um, you know, we were forty one nineteen. Um, and this is a you know a. Not just a game, but you know the next couple games where we feel like we can get a rhythm against you know teams that are um, is the bottom half of the league, I guess. You know, um, and we're supposed to win this one, but no, it's one. I think it's one that we uh, just flush it. You know, we all know what we're supposed to do. Um, you know, from an individual standpoint and at the team standpoint, and we move on. Get ready for Friday. That's how I think it, it, should, it should be handled. But um, I think we have off tomorrow, going to the rules and come in Friday and, and have a shoot around or whatever the plan is and get ready for you know our opponent Friday and, and take all that frustration and you know reason why we lost the game and you know out on it. Um, are there any moments where before it got to down to the final couple minutes where you, you feel like? It was a juncture where, where you guys could have taken back control. I mean, the the, the back to back threes with Avery come to mind, or I'm not sure if there are any other points in the game where you thought maybe it could have turned. Um, I mean, it could really turn at any point. Momentum. I mean, no shot that could have went in. I mean, oh, um, not Mel had great looks, missed them. Bates had a good looking corner. He made two and missed that one. So, I mean. It's a lot of looks that, you know, we, we wish they could have went in, but that's not even, you know, you know, why we lost the game. You know, we won a deep event. We had 37 and 41 one quarter. Um, and we didn't score in the fourth quarter. So, I mean, that's another reason why. But, you know, we were 19 in the first and then 37 and 41. It's so very unacceptable for our defense. And uh, we have to be better in that. So, um, you're not worried about the offense. You know, we've been a team that's, been in the middle of the pack or below all year on defense, man. And we have to get better at that first. Um, you guys have mentioned this kind of being an adjustment period. Do you feel like 
this is kind of just one of the lumps you got to take early in the season? Or? No, this ain't no adjustment period at all, not this game. That's just straight on, on us. It's not, you know, other games possible, but this isn't an adjustment game where, you know, I feel like it's, oh, we're still learning each other, we're still not this game. What do you feel about your return to Oklahoma City in a Laker uniform and just how the fans uh, reacted to you, to you out there on the floor again? Um, you know, like I said yesterday, people have always been great to me and my family. And, um, you know, they're always very welcoming. Um, just unfortunately, you know, we didn't win. The rest of the open follow. Uh, the, uh, three of the games so far this season, your turnover. Total is pretty low uh, tonight in Memphis. Who was higher? Is anything you can pinpoint? What's the no, it's just me. I gotta take the ball. Simple. Just making plays and trying to make lobs and too many mishaps on my on my on my, on my part. So just just on me. But I'm gonna take care of it. I know that and keep the game simple um, because we we need those possessions, especially. In games like this. Thanks, fellas. Able to do that tonight. I, I, I can't pinpoint it at this moment. Um, this, the momentum switch quick. And it was a like it was a downhill spiral for us. They started getting confidence. They started making shots. Um, and they they kept playing the same way the whole game. You know, we we had dead spots throughout the course of the game. Uh, and they just played the same way. They played hard. They played free. They attack the basket they, they started making shots um and you know they, they came back and won so you got to tip your hat to those guys well, uh, what do you mean by dead spots exactly i mean we just had we had a moment where we wasn't scoring the basketball we had a moment where we was turning the ball over uh they was taking advantage they were taking advantage of that transition threes and they just got momentum they got momentum they got confidence and once you give a team like that confidence and give them momentum uh it's, it's hard to slow that down Obviously, it didn't really come down to this one play, but you guys got three shots to try to tie Facts, up. Yeah. Last 30 seconds, and Williams slips. Uh, the ball almost came right to you. But yeah, it came. It came right to me, man. I, I didn't have full control of it though. I tried to, I tried to shoot it without having full control of it. My footing wasn't right. I just saw daylight once I seen it. Once I seen it, I just saw daylight. But I, I didn't have uh, full control of, of, of the basketball, so I tried to make a shot. Try to shoot it without having full control of it. in your experience of being in the league these many years, a loss like this, how do you take it, process this as a team? I mean, this, this, this is a tough one to, to lose, even though we was up 20 uh, on the road. It was a tough one, to, tough one to lose, but we better leave that one here and get, get ready for Friday. Do you know what the Russell Westbrook experience is in OKC, having been a teammate of his here? How do you think the night went for him? Oh, you gotta ask him that. <laughs> I can't answer for him. I can't. I can't answer for us. I don't know how he may feel about how he played, about you know coming back here. I, I won't answer that. You can ask him that. Melo, you sort of said it was a spiral, but before it came to those last three shots for you guys, was was there an earlier point in the game where you kind of felt like? You had maybe a chance to stem it, uh, maybe when Avery hit those, those back-to-back threes, or was there another moment um, in the game where? where you I mean, it was just moments throughout, the, especially in the second half. It was moments where, you know, no matter what we did, um, we tried to sustain their runs. Um, 